this cast was found on the 19th of the 10th 2017 while I was walking around the Glenbrook area um, checking out my research area once again which I haven't been to for a while and under this rock ledge right near the creek bed I found a set of prints that I later cast the next day. These are a set of photos taken of the Glenbrook print. Um, you notice the fingers look straight and not bent. Uh, there's no claw marks in any of the, the fingers. It does look like it's one print, not a back foot which is stepped on the front foot. Um, both the Megalong and the Glenbrook prints were in the same kind of mud right next to the water in a creek bed. Um, the nodules that are present in the Megalong prints are not present in the ones from the Glenbrook. Um, so we're trying to compare these two photos and casts to see if there's differences and similarities um, in both these uh, prints. So um, we'll check out the similarities between the photos uh, of the prints and then the photos of the casts. So um, I was very surprised to get this one and um, next we'll go to the front foot of the cast from Megalong. Now this is a front foot of a wombat from the Megalong Valley. Um, you can see it's five toes at the front. Um, you can see the five claw marks. Um, you can see how the fingers have been bent um, while it's been standing and then you can see the ridge lines in the fingers while they're being bent. Um, the padding is actually thicker and much rounder and bigger than the Glenbrook print. Um, you can even see the uh, nodules inside the print itself. So um, the Glenbrook print has four fingers at the front and a fifth one like a thumb-like feature halfway down the side of the, um, the print. So there's a big bit of a difference between the front foot there of the wombat and the uh, Glenbrook print. So that's a bit of an interesting uh, difference there. Okay, this is a back foot from a wombat from the Megalong Valley. Um, you can see it's got four toes there, as, as you can see the four claw marks. Um, the foot's very much elongated, uh, which at the back there where the heel is rounded, it's not like that in the Glenbrook print, so there's a bit of a difference there. Uh, it has got nodules that are like fingerprints like humans um, in the sole there, which is lacking in the uh, Glenbrook print. And if um, this back foot had stepped over the front foot in the Glenbrook print, you would see them claw marks about halfway up that print. So that doesn't appear to be the case in the Glenbrook print. So there is some differences there between the two prints. Now this is a Glenbrook cast. Um, we're just going to explain a few things that we've found in the cast and then we're going to go on to the um, wombat prints in the uh, Meg from the Megalong Valley. So as you can see this is the whole cast. Um, you can see the fingers, they're not bent at all, they're all straight out. They were found in the same soft mud as was found in the Megalong Valley. So they're not bent up at all, there was no claw marks even in the pictures or in the cast. Um, this is side on of the toes or fingers coming out. Um, they're not bent at all as you can see and there's no little ridge lines to show that you can see halfway up the fingers or toes that there's there's maybe a one little one in like one of the middle fingers but that could have been a bit of a stick so there's not they're not really that present in this picture. Um, this is just another side on view from the other way. Um, fingers are very flat. Um, there's not much bending at all of them fingers or toes. Um, this is at the back it shows you that there's no really elongation of the back of the foot. Not like the back foot of the uh, wombat print found in Megalong Valley and there's really lack of nodules in the pictures. This is just another side on view of the back and as you can see the bottom there is where the bottom 
part of the uh, print is is not elongated as I just stated. Um, this is as you can see where the, all the fingers or toes are. There's no little mark marks. There's a couple of lines in the Megalong Valley front print, and they are not in this. There's no claw marks, and the fingers are very flat. There is a little bit on the left hand side. You could see maybe it could be like a shape of nodules, but uh, then again, it could just be bits of mud or something that's been brushed out after the cast has been cleaned also. Now this is the cast of the front foot of the wombat from the Megalong Valley and you can see up the top there's the claw marks, the toes look bent and you've got those little ridge lines halfway down the toes. Also the padding looks much bigger and here you can see the fingers are all bending up and or toes and they've got the claw marks in the print which has come out in the cast. And this is just another angle of the uh, of the toes, and you can see there's five of them, which there is only four toe marks in the Glenbrook print, and the padding under these toes looks a lot bigger than what was in the Glenbrook one. This is just another angle of all the uh, toe marks and the claws pointing out. So they look quite pointy, them toes. Is another um, shot of those lines that I've been talking about and you can actually see even up towards the top of the toes where they actually bend as well and then you can see the nodules in the in the um, padding there which is really present in this cast that's not really present at all in the Glenbrook one so there is some similarities and there is some a lot of differences as well so it's very interesting Now here we have the, uh, the cast of the back foot from the Megalong Valley. As you can see, it's uh, very much elongated. And then you can see the uh, four toes bending up at the end where the claws are. Um, it's not that wide at all. It's really a long, longish kind of uh, foot. Um, it's very different to the front foot. The front foot's very round, while the back foot's very long. Here you can see the uh, toes and the claws bending up so if they were present in the Glenbrook one if it was a double step um, marks from the back foot stepping into the front foot you would see them claw marks halfway up in the uh, in the Glenbrook print but you don't see it um, unfortunately it was a leaf as you can see at the back that the heel trot in so the leaf is uh, stopping us to see a bit of the nodules from the uh, feet but we have managed to get a few here in the uh, foot here so um, there's not much to tell about this foot it's just basically showing you guys what it looks like close up so um, you can make your own mind up between the Glenbrook print and the uh, prints from the Megalong Valley. Now this is an ape's hand um, and you can see it's got the four long fingers and there's no real claws that stick out they've got fingernails just like a human um, between where the fingers are and the thumb there's a real long gap there where it's there to grab branches obviously get around in the trees and um, the thumb is a little it's a stubby thumb it's not really that long so I'm going to compare this to the uh, Glenbrook cast and here we have the Glenbrook cast as you can see there's four fingers up the top the, the thumb is stubby and then you can see the elongated part in between the padding just underneath the uh, four fingers and then the padding at the bottom of the hand and where the thumb is so there's a similarities there I'm not trying to sway, sway anyone to think this is a, a Janjari but it's a possibility <laughs> 